the increase in greenhouse gases is extremely well documented. And we know what it does to the energy budget, the energy balance of the atmosphere, so we know that it will produce heating. The basic physics of carbon dioxide and infrared radiation are pretty well established. I mean, you can go in a laboratory and you can take a vial of CO2 and you can measure the amount of infrared radiation heat that it absorbs and re-emits and all that sort of thing. That's, that's well established. The fundamental science behind that is, is sound. It's been known for a hundred years or more. There are naturally occurring carbon cycles, terrestrial ecosystems e emitting, the ocean absorbing carbon, and the issue right now is how much is natural, how much is man-induced. There's hardly a natural factor involved there. The increase of CO2 that we see is 100% due to the human activity, give or take a few percent. Well, the IPCC recently came out with a statement that I think they said it was very likely that the recent warming was caused by human activities. Direct fossil fuel emissions. And with a, with a, a probability of something like 90% on that. Well, I, I, frankly, I can't see how there's a 10% chance that this was something else, because there is no competing theory. And if you just look at the statistics of how likely we would get some event of this magnitude now, I don't see 10% as being that plausible. I see it more like 